to the very first cake vlog of 2024. If you are new, welcome. If you are a regular watcher, welcome back. I'm looking forward to seeing what 2024 has in store, but right now I have a cake to make. It is a fun one this week. It is actually a birthday cake and it is half Supernatural and half Tim Burton, which I am super happy about. So we're just gonna roll straight into a montage. It is now the end of Wednesday and this is where I've got to so far. Um, it's almost home time now and we have got a lot to do this week. Abby hasn't been well so she's got a doctor's appointment at five o'clock which also clashes with the virtual parents evening so Adam's gonna have to do that whilst I'm at the doctor's. And then on Friday we're possibly having a new roof done. It just depends on the weather. If the rain stays away, then the roof is being done, so we've got to move the guinea pigs downstairs. That's something I haven't chatted about on this channel yet. We got guinea pigs for Christmas. I will let you know all about that another time, but yes, lots to do. This is as far as I've got. I've just stacked, um, it's still slightly wet, but this is the supernatural tier on top of Beetlejuice. But that's Wednesday, um, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, it is now Thursday and I am just putting the letters together for her name. So I will spin you around so you can have a look. So the bottom tier is stripey for Beetlejuice and we want, because it's like a Tim Burton top bottom tier. So I'm putting together a Tim Burton style name plaque. So I've just got a piece of foam core which I've covered in black and I've just cut the letters out in white place them where I want them and now I'm going to stick them down with a little bit of water. I haven't fully decided how I want the frame to look yet. Like I don't know what sort of design is going around it but we've got to get in Corpse Bride so there's quite a lot of like vines and butterflies to go with that. We have Jack Skeleton, he's going to be a figure sat on the board and we're also going to put pumpkins on for Nightmare Before Christmas. And then obviously we've got the stripy tier itself for Beetlejuice and I'm also going to add some green <laughs> disgusting patches that Beetlejuice has and also a beetle as well to bring that element in. But I'll show you what else I've been working on this morning once I've stuck this little E into place. So they're stuck with water now, so they shouldn't move. And this is the backboard I've created. It's still a little bit wet at the moment, which is why I'm, I'm just leaving it to dry and not working on it. But this is a backboard, which I'm then going to put the car from Supernatural. Oh, I've just stuck my finger in it. <laughs> Nice big white patch there where I just stuck my finger in it. Luckily there's a whole car going across here so you won't see that. Um, honestly, things happen like this all the time. And I'm going to put some black wings for Castile. And here are the initials carved into kind of like the side of the, the top tier. So the top tier, this is the front here where I'm going to put the anti-possession symbol. I have that here. Um, already traced out, <laughs> now got a big smudge of uh, gel on it where I stuck my finger in. I'm going to be cutting this out of black I think, placing this in the centre and it's also going to have her age there, her name across here, Jack Skeleton. I've just grunged this tear up a little bit just to give it a little bit more interest. Right, it is now half past three and this is where I'm up to so far, I'm still not done yet 
but I wanted to pop on and say that I have changed my mind on why. So this is the anti-possession symbol that we're supposed to have the age written in the center. So she's 16, so we're gonna put that there. However, me putting those numbers on here is gonna cover up quite a bit of that pentagram. And it might kind of disguise what it is if the, let, if the numbers are too big. So what I've decided, because I've got the car up here and the wings, can you see like an empty spot right there? There's like a big empty space here that feels like it just needs something on there. So rather than clutter this up with the 16, I think I'm going to move it up here. I'm just going to do it in black so it kind of matches up there. And this is why I decorate in stages. So you'll see the bottom tier is only partially done. The top tier is only partially done. Um, I don't kind of do the whole tier and then move up and finish this whole tier. I do everything in little stages so that I can change my mind and move things depending on if I feel it needs it. So in this instance, I'm going to move the 16 from here up here. And I think that will balance and look a lot clearer in the design. I can't remember what I last filmed, but it's actually now Friday. So what happened was yesterday I wanted to get this as completed as I could because the new roof was being fitted today. So I needed to be at home for that. Um, so I pretty much got all of it done apart from the faces on the pumpkins and the little swirls and a beetle. So I got everything else done on the Thursday yesterday. Um, I've been home this morning, the new roof is now fitted and I've just popped down to finish those last little bits and then I'm getting ready to box it and take it home for delivery tomorrow. Now you won't see the delivery of this because it's going to a private address. So it's just going to somebody's house and not a venue. So I will whiz through the final finished thing. So here we have the car on top. I just quickly hand painted this because it was pretty much all black anyway. So it was just like highlighting the silver grill and the number plates and things. We have the wings framing around it. <clears throat> and as I mentioned, I was going to put the 16 up here because I think that fits miles better than kind of blocking off this symbol. So we're moving down onto this tier and we've got some candles on there now. I don't think they were on when I showed you last. We have a creepy little beetle sat there on the ledge and we have Jack standing up holding onto the sign. So I did mention that Jack was going on here and I was initially going to have him sat on the board. And the reason why he's now standing is because by the time I had this foam core piece kind of sticking out and it sticks out, at either side because it's straight. Um, it would have been a little bit hidden had he been sat here. His head would be kind of behind the sign. So I decided to stand him up and have him holding onto the sign, which it looks a lot more interactive. We've got the frame there. We've got some pumpkins for the Pumpkin King. I said the green patches are for Beetlejuice and these blue butterflies and the vines are for Corpse Bride. So we've got a few little Tim Burton elements there, some of her favourites. And hopefully she likes the supernatural references. We do have the initials highlighted and carved there just on the side as well. But I'm just boxing it up, um, writing the invoice out. So on the invoice it's basically like the care instructions of how to keep it, don't put it in the fridge best before dates, what pieces to remove. I hand write those on because obviously it's different for every cake. So the bits to remove off this cake will be the foam core plaque on the top, the beetle because he's got like wire legs. Um, Jack has got some supports in him and the name plaque across the front is foam core. So once all those items are taken out and obviously the dowels in the bottom tier holding up the top tier, then the rest is ready to eat. So it's all just information like that that I pop on the boxes. Um, and it's Adam's film night tonight. So if you've been around watching vlogs for a little while, you'll know we introduced a family film night. I know most people will have these already, but it was slightly different in that everybody got alternate weeks to kind of choose their own film and their own tea. Um, and it's Adam's tonight. I'm not sure what film he's chosen, but for the meal, he has chosen to have salmon and veg. So he's just nipped out to get some more extra little bits for tea. My voice is going. I think I'm catching what Abby has. So Abby's been off school um, all week. She's been ill for four weeks and she's now on antibiotics. So she's just got this horrible cough. Um, 
that's going round and you get a little bit of a temperature with it but it's not shifting and I can feel it in my throat I can hear it in my voice so I'm not looking forward to that I hope this isn't going to last four weeks because I've got a massive to-do list I don't want to be ill for four weeks but um anyway I'm going to go now I don't know what else I'm going to film because I can't film the delivery of this but we'll think of something I also just wanted to show you my little shelf over here. It's looking very retro at the minute. We've got all these retro shapes going on over here. My radio, I absolutely blooming love this little retro radio. And the new addition is this little Furby. So if you haven't seen it yet, this Furby was my first tutorial on my channel of 2024. And it's an exact replica of the one I used to own as a child. So I saved all of my birthday money up for it, stood in the queue, at the toy shop to buy it um and yeah this is the exact one i had like the gray fur with the black patches but if you haven't seen it yet please do go and watch that one i am growing ever so slowly towards 100,000 subscribers and i would like to add a nice little frame here with <laughs> with a play button instead of a pink sugar paste play button i would like the silver one <laughs> <laughs> it's not a, like a massive goal that I'm pushing but it would be really cool to reach that so if you haven't watched this tutorial yet please do go over and watch that and if you think maybe one of your friends would like a Furby cake or they had a Furby or you've got a cake decorator friend who wants to give this a go it would be fab if you could share it with them as well because that's how these things get discovered really. As you can probably tell from my voice I have had a cold it did kick in um, I've had it all over the weekend it is Wednesday now and it's still hanging around I do feel a little bit more alive but it's very much right in my nose at this moment in time very annoying and I have a zoom call today so I'm in the studio just this morning whilst I pack an order that needed doing so thank you Kelly Kelly is a brand new brigadier and she made an order straight away in my shop and she got to use your discount code so thank you kelly your order is on the way i've also come to pick up um one of my leaflets because um i'm redesigning um this is one of my leaflets that i take to wedding fairs and stuff it's just information about what areas i cover and things like that and what i do um but i'm doing some taster boxes to go in the post and these are the perfect size to fit in um but i'm going to redesign them specifically for the taster boxes so i've just come to collect one <laughs> just to see what they looked like and how big the text was and things like that and whether you can read them well so i'm going to take that home and redesign that this afternoon and i also have a zoom call with a couple who were getting married at the end of august and they're actually from new york but they're coming over to london to get married which is very exciting um so the only way we can kind of do uh, a consultation really is via zoom and there's a time difference so it will be there at 10 o'clock in the morning but my 3 p.m so i've got to go home charge up my ipad set up the lighting and everything make sure i've got everything that i need um and obviously apologize for this cold it doesn't help because um a lot of americans can't understand what i say my accent is very strong 
I have had many a run in um, with them just not being able to understand what I say. So I'm gonna have to speak very slowly, but also they've got to contend with this really snotty voice. <laughs> so i'm hoping it all goes well um but i don't have a cake this week which is why i'm doing a lot of like um admin sort of things so we've scheduled in that zoom call i'm doing leaflets um so a lot a lot of it is like admin stuff um designing emails all that good stuff but i don't think the vlog is quite long enough to end here so um i'll show you the guinea pigs because i did mention that we had guinea pigs for christmas and i haven't shown you them yet so um i'll do that before the vlog ends so here they both are, they're hiding at the moment, <laughs> but we have this one here, this one is Poirot, <laughs> as you can tell he was, uh, he's named because he's very inquisitive and nosy and likes to see what's going on. <laughs> and this one, he's called Sweeney, this one was named by Abby because he has like grey, dark grey and a white band which is a bit like Sweeney Todd. But yeah, they like to hide at the moment because that's what they do. Um, they're currently going through a dominance stage, trying to figure out who is top piggy. So Sweeney is doing his little rumble strutting, which is something they do to assert their dominance. So he kind of walks around past Poirot, swaying from side to side and giving a little grumble. <laughs> so we've taken um, a lot of the hair out of the box because usually this box at the end is absolutely full to the top of hair and they love going in there to burrow Poirot's in there now munching away um, and they also use the corner as a toilet because we've placed a little canopy over the side but we've taken a lot of the hair out whilst they go through this stage um, to make sure that Poirot doesn't get cornered in there and that he can't get out so we've taken a lot of the hair out hoping that they might use their little snuggle sacks more these are like little um fleece things they use these right at the beginning but once they found their hair box they kind of sit in there a lot and they don't usually live downstairs this is just where they are at the moment here on the uh the living room floor because abby's roof like i mentioned she had a new roof fixed or fitted on friday and we didn't want her ceiling to kind of come down and squash the guinea pigs. <laughs> so we've just moved the cage downstairs whilst we get all our room sorted out and then they can go back up on our drawers. But we did build this um, cage ourselves. There is a video on its way that will be going up on my other channel though because obviously this has got nothing to do with cake whatsoever. But they've already been out for a little cuddle and had their cucumber. Um, they get on well when they're scared, <laughs> look like now. So we'll happily sit next to each other for a while. And then every like half an hour or so, it'll have a little rumble strut. But they are only little babies. There is little Sweeney and little Poirot. We have been working on um, taming them, so you can stroke them a little bit. But the guinea pigs are guinea pigs and they're going to be scared every little movement and they've both got completely different personalities so Poirot is the nosy one he's quite happy to walk around take food out of your hand have a good nosy first one to come out and try a new food and Sweeney is the little scaredy cat he's always the one that's left behind or it takes a while to take food out of your hand which is funny because he's the dominant one <laughs> he's showing signs of being the dominant one in the cage where you would assume it would be Poirot because of how confident he is right i'm going to end the vlog here because i have certainly seen better days this cold will not shift i am just suffering the very end of it now um but it just does not want to leave it is now Friday, the complete end of another week, but I'm doing some taste flavour trialings today. So my flavour list has been the same for many, many years. There's nothing wrong with the flavours I have. They're all really good. But I just decided just to switch it up a little bit because I have been making the same ones for many years. So I've decided to retire a couple of them and replace them with new ones. So today is a full on baking day of new flavours to see how they taste, how they bake, 
what the ingredients cost and things like that because I got round to designing my leaflet ready for the taster boxes and on there part of it it's got a menu with all my flavours on and it was at that point when I was writing all my flavours out I thought should I change some of these <laughs> some of these are a bit old now so yeah that's what spurred me on to do it really so I can't really get my leaflets printed until I've decided on the new flavours and what's going to be coming out just sort of stuff like um the chocolate and vanilla because I have so many chocolate options chocolate and vanilla chocolate and chocolate chocolate and mint chocolate and orange chocolate and black cherry chocolate and coffee <laughs> and it's just a never-ending choice of chocolate flavors so I'm going to get rid of a couple of those um, and just replace them with things that aren't chocolate I'm going to be trying a lemon and black currant. I already do a lemon cake anyway, but I just thought, you know what, black currant is a really nice summery flavour, especially paired with the lemon, so I'm going to give that a go. I already have a cookies and cream flavour, which is popular, so I thought, you know what, what about Biscoff? Biscoff is another popular flavour, so I'm going to be giving that one a try. Then potentially like a raspberry and white chocolate, maybe. Um, all these new flavours are not chocolate, <laughs> I have enough chocolate so it's really just to kind of balance the menu really so I'm going to go I hope you've enjoyed this vlog I'm not looking at my very ill <laughs> pale face today <laughs> full of spots <laughs> but <laughs> why change the habit of a lifetime there's at least 90% of my vlogs I appear like this at some point <laughs> So I don't think that's going to change, but I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Please do click subscribe if you do like to watch these behind the scenes. I'm going to be chatting what new flavours I eventually chose. There are many more tutorials on the way. The new cake challenge in the brigade has already been announced and so we know what the, th the next theme is. So I'm going to be working on that and I will see you again in the next one.